see, I'm at the, I don't know, I'm as close to the river as you can get on, uh, off of Indian Hills. It's on the ground now. Quick condensation funnel. Rain wrapped. It's about an eight mile wide inside that inside that rain curtain. Man. Can we have another vortice right there? Sure looks like it. Looks like another vortice off to the left there. Oh, that's just circling around the ball. Okay, it's going to go in behind these trees there. I'm going to try to get further north. This is directly west of me. I'm shooting to the west. This thing's obviously moving northeast. Wow, I can hear it. Looks to me like it's moving directly east now. I can hear the power, you can hear the hum.
I don't know if you can hear if, it, if this camera's picking this up, but she can just, it just, it's just loud. I mean, just loud. People say it sounds like a freight train. They're, they're exactly right. It sounds like about 10 freight trains. I'm on the I-35 service road. Um, 19th, the Walmart is my closest intersection. It's about a mile to my north. This thing is... I hope it's... I hope and pray that we can run around. This thing is moving fast. I'm getting rain curtains sweeping around. You can see the rain on the lens probably. Rain curtains at this thing is it's a good mile from it. We got debris falling in front of me. Debris up in the air, right over my head. This thing is huge. I mean, it's just tearing everything up. It's completely wrapped in rain right now. It's about to cross. It's coming up on I-35. I got debris falling on my head right now. It's getting close to 35. I mean, you just can't tell. It's so wrapped up. You can't tell if it's right at 35 yet or not. I'm going to say it's probably a good couple hundred yards. Oh, you see all this, all this debris falling from the sky.